tonight. I'm going to be having a review on the PSE Mustang Recurve Bow. I got this bow a couple of days ago. I just got um, a chance to shoot it today. And this bow, it shoots real, real good. Um, You'll see some pictures of it on the internet. And I just want to say, the pictures of this bow on the internet are just plain ugly. They don't go by the picture on the internet because this bow has a beautiful finish to it. But the picture on the internet, it just shows it is ugly. I mean ugly on that picture. But this bow is very, very nice finish to it. This is a 45 pound recurve. And... The bow's 60 inches long. As you can see, it's pretty long. And <clears throat> all recurves are set up on a 28-inch draw length. So that doesn't mean that you have to draw 28 inches uh, by a recurve. If you draw 28 inches and it's a 45-pound recurve, that just means that you're going to be drawing 45 pounds. If you draw 26 inches like me, for about every inch you lose, you're going to lose some poundage off of it. So, I'm drawing maybe about 43, 40 inches with this bow because you're dropping a couple of pounds. If you over 28 inches, you're adding poundage to the bow. Which every pound, whichever inch you lose, you gain about 2 to 3 pounds and I lose about 2 to 3 pounds. So, nothing big, but still. And this bow just comes plain like this for $210. I got it at Bass Pro Shops. And I picked up this while I was there. It is a bare hair rest. It just comes in a long strip. And you have to put it on your bow and cut it down to what size you need. And it comes with this plate. And this bow is of the PSE Heritage Series. So you have a place to put sights on the bow. And a place to put a rest. This hole for the rest comes out on the other side. But I put, but I put the plate over it. You have your, once again, sights. And place put a rest your limbs, and this is a takedown recurve, which for you that don't know, it just means you can take these two bolts off that attaches the limb to the riser. There's a bolt there. There's a bolt there. Once you take them off, you can just fold it up and put it in a nice little case. And carry it with you wherever you go. This bow, and I'm just saying, is lightning fast. This, whenever I shot it. See, I'm not used to instinctive shooting because I shoot the compound bow. If you've watched my other video, my bear strike compound, um, I shoot. I've been shooting the compound bow, and I'm used to the sights. But I think I'm starting to get the hang of the recurve since you have to shoot it instinctively. But if you couldn't shoot it instinctively, you do have a place to put sights on it. Um, I'm getting the hang of it, you know, shooting instinctively. But it's gonna take some getting used to. Overall, you know, I'd recommend this bow to somebody, but this bow is real light. It's light as a feather, but I'm just going to tell you, this bow is a chunk of wood. I mean, this bow is a real chunk of wood. I mean, it is, you know, big. You got a place to put a stabilizer on the front, right there. And your riser. Uh, this bow would be a great bow for bow fishing. For those of you bow fish, you know, real great bow for bow fishing. You put your whole setup on here. And I just like this bow, you know. I had no intentions of buying this bow, but I walked in and it caught my eye and I really liked it, so I bought it, you know. So, yeah, I'd recommend this bow to people to just shoot. I'm going to hunt with mine. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hunt some with mine. Yeah, I'm going to put mine to good use. But the one thing you need to know, if you have a recurve strong, do not leave it strong. Because the limbs will set on it, and you're going to end up messing up the limbs. And whenever they set, you're not going to have that much power with it. And the little thing about this bow, it is pretty loud. Um, I'm going to tell you the truth about that. It's pretty loud. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put um, some brush buttons on it. Um, put some brush buttons. I got some cat whiskers I'm going to put on it. I'm not going to put a stabilizer on the front. I just don't like that. I'm, I'm going to put me some limb savers on it. And you know... That'll um quiet it up, you know, where you can hunt with it. But overall, it's a nice bow, and I would recommend it to anyone. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already seen my other videos, please check them out.